Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. I mean, what a great day. What a fantastic day this is. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, it's a horrible day because of the horrific revelations, but a fantastic day for turning this ship around, I would say, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is, these horrific revelations are revelations that we have been shouting our heads off for the last five years. So oh we God. are perhaps able to see the humor in it a bit easier than others. My favorite thing that's just happened, which I'm hoping neither of you um, will know about because it's so good, <laughs> is that um, Pink News reported on it. And uh, for once, they kind of had to report on it, report on a true story and tell the truth, right? <laughs> but, but, but they framed it in such a way that they framed it as mermaids being responsible and getting rid of this guy, you know? It was like, oh, they acted fast. And not only that, but Ben Cohen has tweeted about, well, these revelations in the, as someone pointed out, bigoted times are so shocking that we have to, you know, we're going to look at our relationship with, uh, with uh, uh, mermaids. Now, uh, sorry, quick catch up for people. Mermaids yes, have just I was going to say, give a, give, a, give a catch up, because I've actually been at work all day. I've seen something, okay. I've seen yes. something, but I don't know the full story, so. But, uh, mermaids have, have just been found <laughs> to have an, a man named J Jacob Breslau, I think it is, on his, uh, on their web, as their, one of their trustees. And Jacob is someone who, uh, he writes uh, very enthusiastically, not about things like, um, you know, the uh, standards of care for paedophiles or how to help them uh, deal with their uh, issues or anything like this. He just writes very approvingly about having sex with children um, and has written some extraordinary things, uh, as, as most of these idiot academics do at the moment, in full view of everyone else. And now they've been discovered by the Times and uh, everyone is scrambling. So the brilliant thing that Pink News did is they, um, as I say, Ben Cohen distanced himself, or distanced himself from mermaids, right? And then someone sent me a link that said that had a piece by Jacob Breslau in Pink News. In Pink News. <laughs> and he's listed, no, it gets better. He's listed as a staff writer. A oh! Minutes, oh. Uh, but listen, listen, listen. A oh. few minutes later, a few minutes later, we go back to the same link. It now says guest opinion. Oh, they're trying. Oh my goodness, that's that's too much, man. I that's just crazy. I've just posted it up. They they just managed to, you know, <clears throat> it's just been brilliant, you know. So that's what I mean when I say what a brilliant day. I mean, it's this is shocking because this Jacob Breslow guy, Breslow, Breslow, everything was in such plain sight. He did his in his PhD thesis. He talks about um, sexuality, queer sexuality around children, and he equates queer children with children being sexually active. So with all these people declaring that their children are LGBT, to them, he means that means these children are now sexually active. It was disgusting. It was right in his PhD thesis. And then he talked about really graphic sexual stuff uh, about uh, about children. And, coming, uh, coming on a shoe in the presence of a child. Something like that. It's like the most grotesque. Oh, it was much worse than that. And then it was on a child or with a child. That was the On a child or end. with a child. So I mean, that, I don't even want to have yeah, to repeat that. So, it's so awful. Just, and this just want to remind sight. you, just want to remind yeah. everyone that that's why you can't see the Father Ted musical. Because I, I stood up yeah. against Mermaids. And now Jimmy Mulville of Hattrick Productions uh, is sitting on the musical uh, because of people like this. So uh, I'd ask them again to just kind of have a look again whether you think you've made the right decision and have a think about whether you owe me an apology. You and know? we have been saying this constantly. This isn't that much of a surprise that someone like this would be involved with mermaids because we've seen the same thing with WPATH. We've seen the same thing with all of these organizations. All of these people who are peddling this radical queer ideology are just in bed with the idea that sexuality is just free and children should be involved in it far too often of the time. It's so, yeah. so horrible. It's so horrible. Yeah. And all these people like Ben Cohen are trying to pretend that they barely know him and distance themselves from him. It's only a matter of time before images come out, photos of them hobnobbing together, you know, That's screenshots right. of them chatting together. We all know that they've been moving in the same circles. He was the staff writer at Ben's freaking magazine. <laughs> so and they were both trustees, probably at the same time at the same place. So they, they know each other. They're not, they know what's up and they know what he's been involved with. You know, that well, you know, pro, it's one of, explicitly pro pedophile organizations, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, uh, it's, I've seen, it's, seen actually, some... it's astonishing, it's astonishing. It's playing out as it's it's a sort of Jimmy Savile esque version of kids' company, isn't it? 
Do you oh, know far how worse. I, uh, I've as uh, Hall, as uh, J.K. Yes. Rowling said, this is far, far worse than Kids' Company. Yes, and the I scary believe, thing I about Jacob Breslow woman... is that Jacob Breslow is listed as a trustee only because I think of documents they had to submit because of their lawsuit against LGB Alliance. Uh, he was not oh. listed as a trustee. He was suspiciously <laughs> omitted. <laughs> Jolie and mom, Jolie and mom. We so should there's have something a, about how you list all of your trustees oh. on your website, except for the one who's controversial. It seems to be an ambition that they already knew he was controversial and were trying to yes. keep quiet. And, and then they submitted their documentation to the lawsuit. And sure enough, look, there's an extra trustee who seems to be absent from the website. If, if, that, if, that, is, if that is true, then that <laughs> is so then, then it's over. Then it's oh, over. It's if over. that's true, yeah. then it's over for mermaids. And can I suggest, like, I know there's an investigation going on into mermaids, but can I suggest that they are shut down right now by 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 someone in charge? Because they can't be allowed to deal with a, a single other uh, child they, until this is cleared up. They cannot Help, be allowed near them. Yeah. Shut, and then there's going to be questions mermaids about down. All the years we've been trying, all the years, <coughs> many people longer than I am have been trying to get mermaids shut down. All the people who stood in the way and let mermaids go on for five years when they should have been shut down five years ago. We should be asking them today, how would you like mermaids to carry on five more years from now? You know, yeah. five years another, has already elapsed, right. five years too long, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's another, here's another uh, thing to bear in mind. You know, all of this, th this is something that I really want to get across to people, and I hope you just give me a second uh, um, uh, to get, get into this. Th this will take, this will pull everything down, in my view, and I'll tell you why. Because just like puberty blockers, you've had a group of people, including people like Jolie and Mom, Owen Jones, and those kind of idiot uh, allies. And then you've had also, and this is what I think is key, people who are taking, who, ha who have the trans identity, like Paris Lee's, uh, you know, uh, what's the one who, who appeared on the Donkey Kong thing about me, uh, the Beast American... bomber guy or whatever. Oh, no, no, no. no. The, the, yeah, uh, what's it? She was a whistleblower. He was a whistleblower. Um, what's his fucking name? You know the guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. What's his name? Oh, someone will say it. But anyway, that <laughs> the, all these people... Um, no, I'm talking about the trans guy, uh, Francis. And by the way, Francis, thank you for your lovely tweet about me. I saw it. It's really sweet. I really appreciated that. Um, uh, but here's the key thing. And people like Katie Montgomery, okay? All of these people, like the celebs are one thing. They're morons, reckless idiots. Some of them, I think they should be in jail for, for what, what they've done to children. But anyway, but the people I really think that this will expose are people like Paris Lees, people like Katie Montgomery, who have been just swearing blind that mermaids are the most important group for poor trans children, the trans children. And they've they've managed to create a fantasy of the trans child, which yeah. doesn't exist. Yeah. And they use right. that to justify their own attempts to get into women's spaces. Right? That's right. These, it's all these, just a, it, yeah. Mermaids is just tied to them. Like we've just seen, we've just we seen saw, how they we saw we saw it start like years ago, you know, before the big sort of trans kid phenomenon was there. You 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 know, you could see when it all sort of started that you you'd have um blokes that had transed later on in life saying, you know, this sort of looking back, sort of counterfactual fantasy, oh, if I could have had puberty blockers, yes. you know, I could have been beautiful, I would, it would have been lovely, I would have loved it. And then you're just saying this in order to justify the use of puberty blockers on kids. I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all this fantasy, the, as you say, this fantasy of this beautiful sort of boy that turns into a woman. That the tra trans John, Ben it's, Cohen, Ben Cohen tweeted terrible. images. Ben Cohen tweeted images of very masculine looking men. They, they may have been trans, but they but they might have they might have just been men, and spoke about the trans joy involved in getting binders and double mastectomies and so on. I mean, these people, I, I genuinely, genuinely believe they should be in jail for what they've done. I think that they have caused irreparable harm to people. A and, lot of harm. And, and I think that sentence, if anybody's listening to that sentence now and thinking it sounds extreme, in about five years, we're all going to look back and think that was not even harsh enough. You know, like no, you I think the real problem in this movement is that it's, people haven't, people haven't went with the now. authorities to, 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 to take up the issue. We've been screaming fire. No one's been paying attention. And now it's like suddenly 
the right authorities are starting to pay attention and now everybody's panicking. Oh my God, there's a freaking fire, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, absolutely. Yeah. But even no, I don't think it's gonna take five years. Like, no, like today, Mom, Jones, yeah. they must be thinking, shit. Yeah, well, they haven't tweeted, I believe. No. Um, no, like anything but, right? Like, please, let's, let's just kill the economy so we can concentrate on that. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill the pound so that my Canadian dollar can last longer in this country, please. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, can, I can hear you. Arby's in my spare bedroom. I can oh, hear don't you. tell them. I just texted them to go in into your shop. And, but, you know, Come into my shop. I had a chair. I had a chair waiting. <laughs> yeah, go in, go in and join them. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know. I have wine. <laughs> Anyway, listen, listen. I'll, I'll be there in a sec. I just wanted to, I just wanted to um, say another thing that this is connected to, right? Which I think people have to bear in mind, because this is another way that mermaids will pull everything down with them. But we have to remember the kind of behavior that these people used when they were defending mermaids. The way Clara Villami bullied Rachel Rooney almost out of the industry. In fact, I think she says she doesn't want to ever work in the industry again because of the treatment she got like will she apologize she's a she's a mermaid she was a mermaid supporter will she apologize to rachel rooney oh and jones who bullied a schoolgirl on behalf of the trans cause will he make any kind of apology for his no. behavior no they, they they won't well you know what i say i don't say this lightly i don't say this lightly because having had my my livelihood almost destroyed um i'm still you know i'm still in a very precarious position because of it. But having had that happen to me, I do not say this lightly. They should not work again until they right. apologize. A hundred percent agreed. No one I should think employ everyone them. in all these organizations. All these organizations, yeah. any organization where a bunch of wokesters bullied someone out of it, but yeah. they should be they should be inviting everyone that they bullied out back in and marching out the door themselves. You know? Well, yeah. like, I certainly yeah. think that Hatrick Productions today should be saying, shit, we got it wrong. We totally support Graham. Um, well, you know, and they, they're, they're going to go through a fucking legal case then, which none of us want. It's it's just ridiculous. Are you, going, are, you, are you going to do that? What super chat? Um, uh, well, that's yeah. so that people can throw money, uh, but it's not, it doesn't work with this. Um, All right, okay. Sorry, guys. I, <laughs> I've already looked. Um, uh, you can throw yeah. money at us in person if you want. Find it, <laughs> throw money at us. <laughs> But, but, you know, like all the kind of like evil bullying behavior, Joanne Harris at the Society of Authors, like uh, she, just yesterday, Kate Clancy published a 21 page letter detailing the abuse she suffered at the hands of uh, Joanne Harris and a few other writers who, who feel that they can use identity politics to destroy people's livelihoods. It's absolutely extraordinary how they're getting away with it. Those people should not be published or, 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 you know. And it's odd, isn't it? Because it only, it only really goes one way. It is, you know, it is, it is people mean? who believe in gender ideology, who are trying to sort of destroy the livelihoods of, of those that don't. Yeah, really never the other way. way. Yeah. You know, yeah. like since people occasionally, like friends of mine will say, you know, I'll be talking like out in the pub or Rebens, and I'll say he, and some, and they will say, actually, she, you know, because they believe in it, and they say she, and I'm like, mm. no, it's okay for you to say it. I don't mind you saying it. I'm not going to correct you, mm. but I'd mm. appreciate the same courtesy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't correct me as an adult yeah. and tell me what I should say. I'm, I'm not going to say it. I, I'm choosing my words deliberately. This is not a mistake. <laughs> it's deliberate. You yeah. don't correct me on it. I'm not correcting you. It does seem, mm. you know, it, it's not equal, is it? Here's another thing. Let me let me give you no, another thing. I think we're capable of understanding that two people can respect each other while having differing points of view. And these other people think that differing points of view means two things can't exist simultaneously. Everybody has to all agree or something doesn't work. This is mm. kind of the argument lobbed at LGB Alliance all the time that you can't have LGB without the T. Well, you can still have LGBT organizations and have the LGB alliance. It's not like when the LGB alliance comes into existence, everybody has this men in black. It just the men in black sticks to erase everyone's memory and the tea vanishes, you know? And it's like, oh, hey, 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 look who it is. Well done. This is the person who broke the story, I think. Uh, or Yay. at least it's the first tweet I saw about it. So well done, you. That, that was yes. a brilliant. Fantastic. Point. Yes, well done. 
Um, yeah, big uh, cheers uh, to you, massive. I was going to say, you. oh yeah, uh, just to tell you, I am I am right now going to post uh, a thing that me and Molly and our friend uh, Amanda did um, to. Uh, I'm going to do it live. Uh, <laughs> And I've called it. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Well, don't this, send uh, everyone scurrying away from our, our show, though. No, 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 I won't. I, oh, that's I'll post it off. But can I read out what I wrote? Because I think I, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think this is what I wanted to say. The Mermaid Saga is like a Chris Morris prank that worked without needing a Chris Morris figure to organize it. Just look at all the celebs and organizations whose reputations have been scuppered by the scandal, and Chris didn't even have to get out of bed to do it. From Clara Villami, the vicious bully who targeted children's author Rachel Rooney, to Owen Jones, the vicious bully who targets schoolgirls. They're going to have a hard time being taken seriously ever again, so watch them all double down or go conspicuously silent in the coming weeks. Um, and then we, we, we have a kind of gallery of all these people who've been supporting mermaids, headed, of course, by the man who made it all happen, Jolie and Mom. Let's give them a little round. Let that he okay. really deserves it. Uh, well done. Take well done, mate. Really, what? you've done oh, you've, by bringing the LGB alliance into. Oh, a dog that'll increase the viewership. Click like, yeah. everyone. Um, Click like, there's a doggy, <laughs> a wonderful doggy. She's so sweet. But Jolian Mom is the man with the anti Midas touch. Everything he touches turns to shit, and this is the best example. Bringing and, and yeah, 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 the good love project hasn't gone brilliantly, is it? <laughs> No, yeah. it's not. It's not. And then and they're going to uh, try to say this. They're still going to try to frame this as yet another isolated incident. But I think this is one too many isolated incidents too far. At this point, it's very clear that everything we have said has turned out to be true. Safeguarding mm -hmm. issues. Queer theory is a direct line to abuse of children. Uh, this is happening out in the open. And a big shout out to the London School of Economics, where this guy's uh, horrific lecture occurred in support mm -hmm. of pedophiles. And the LSC is now like, we've just been made aware of these terrible things that were said. It's like, no, you weren't just made aware. It's been happening. This guy's been talking about this stuff for like 10 years or something, you know? Yeah. W w one, thing to, one thing to remind people of is, is, is a, a big kind of part of this that people really have to get their heads around. There's so many different aspects to it. I did a downfall parody once where I, I said, something about, I can't remember how it, what, it, what it was specifically about. It was about one of these types of scandals. And I, and uh, Hitler at one point says, um, says, oh, and all because the pervert wing got greedy, you know? And that's, <laughs> what, and that's what you have to think about gender identity. There's all these different wings. There's, there's a huge amount of people who just think they're doing the right thing, who are good people. Yeah. Most there's, people. Most, most yeah. people, most allies who support it, we know and, that. They're yeah, genuinely right. nice people who think gay rights 2.0. But and then, and, them because that's how it's been pushed. Yes, so, and then and then there's the there's the uh, the 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 uh, uh, the pervert wing, uh, which is which we've just found one example of. But another very important one that we we have to remember this is all this all trickled down from, and it's very important I think to place the blame here. Academia, academia yeah. <clears throat> in America was corrupted by postmodernism and queer theory and all that sort of stuff and they created a fake body of knowledge and all these academics rose up you know and the reason they say these things to each other is to oppress each other you know all this fucking coming on shoes yeah. like, you know these are these are people who have who have risen to prominence because of a fraudulent study a fraudulent area of study which is yeah queer. we need to be clear queer theory is literary criticism it's under the umbrella of to, of, of of critiquing poems, you know, you're talking about, you know, how cool certain poems and movements and poetry are. It is a branch of literary criticism, literally. It is not a science, you know? Mm. Why are these people who are queer theorists who just talk about, you know, the movements within literary movements, like like how romanticism gave way to postmodernism and that kind of thing, has turned into something that is pretending to be a science. They're putting on fake lab coats like homeopaths and pretending to be scientists. They're not fucking scientists. There is real science around the study of sexology. There's real science around psychology and psychiatry around the treatment of people with sexual dysfunctions and mental health problems and all these things. That's over there in real science land, mm, you know? Mm, but queer mm. theory is academics who are just talking bullshit while pretending they're talking science, you Shit, know? Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Artie, I didn't uh, mean to. And I, I just want to be really clear about that because people don't realize, like, it's because people don't understand that, the you know, the humanities are not the sciences and they really can't cross that line. 
And that's you know? why it's so disturbing to see, uh, you know, people talking about queering different spaces, you know, yes. like the, the, the attempt to to queer children's libraries is has uh, left us with Drag Queen Story Hour, which some people just and see didn't as, a, the Green as a... Party, didn't the Green Party sort of put, put in a motion of support? Of Not only drag, that, that's drag just, drag even more... Hour, and you're like, what? Is even more right? shocking, even more shocking than that, they, they successfully uh, stopped uh, DBS checks for um uh, uh or advanced dbs checks for anyone who's a drag queen uh doing what, a drag what, queen story time well deliberately deliberately so somebody put in a motion that to, was part of the motion that was part of the motion well I under think. the well under the idea that this is this is rude. You're be, it's, you're be, it's, yes it's, exactly you're being rude to queer people <laughs> you're being rude to to, to to you know uh adhd queens. and and fucking you know blow jobby do you know what I mean? It's like it's like what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you? I'm um, honestly why are you? If you're being around Green children, Party, I mean, why on earth would the Green Party stick their necks out for this one? Why would they no. say it? It's an incredible thing when you think about it in isolation. Can I just can it, I just say what, here, no. what is that all the gay about? rights movement is we want the same respect as everyone else. We don't want yeah. to be able to circumvent. DBS checks because we're gay. We want the same level of scrutiny. You can as see other that people, the orbiting window, you know? window has moved yeah. to an absurd place where yeah. you've got the fucking Green Party saying, "Oh, actually, you know, we stand in support of drag queens who want to <laughs> perform to kids in libraries. We stand in support with them." What is that all about? <laughs> It's so funny. It's so funny. These these drag queens, drag queens have seen a gap in the market, taken advantage of it, and basically any predator worth his salt will gravitate towards it as a job because it would be like me be getting a job in a Victoria's Secret changing room. You know, yes, it's yes, like, yes, it's like why would anyone? Think, why would a pedophile yeah. turn down the chance to work in a place where it has lowered DBS checks, right? You know, that won't ask yeah. questions if he comes in identifying as a woman and that because is such of the lower DBA checks. Because, yeah, but let's be clear, like, because someone's going to try to take this out of context. You're saying drag yeah, things exactly. or blah, blah, blah. That's exactly what we're not saying. That's the point, you know. That's the point. You've got, you've got to be so careful because of that. Because you're doing this, it does mean that then, like, people yeah, who they're, are they're, actually they're enabling. Things, just, you know, not even necessarily considering the issues around it because they just like to dress up and go and perform whatever. Um, exactly. Yeah, like, a lot of these drag queens are just innocent, same, playful gosh. nightclub dwellers who think that this is just them them just getting a bigger platform and it's very exciting for them. And they don't realize that the ramifications have to do with child safeguarding and stuff, you know. I, I, I think a lot of drag queens who get involved in Drag Queen Story Hour probably are just naive, you know, and not... Yeah. Um, well, they're, 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 they're like Eddie Izzard. No. They're like Eddie Izzard. They, you know, Eddie Izzard went into the, to the women's toilets at the Labour Conference and Twitter hasn't... He hasn't stopped trending on Twitter since. And I fucking love that because it's basically, yeah, you put it to a vote. The people have said no. The people have said no. Even on Twitter, the people are saying no. Stay out of women's spaces, Eddie. That's the yeah. fucking message. But honestly, it's, it's, yeah. such, it's such a deliberate action, though, isn't it? He didn't do that on, you know, he, di he didn't sort of mistakenly or think, oh, nobody was going to see him. He knew exactly what he was doing there. Oh, yeah. He didn't go to the ladies down the hall. He went to the ladies right in front of the cameras. You know? <laughs> he, wants, he wants the publicity around this because he, well, wants, he, he wants to, you know, he enjoys this idea that he, I mean, he's basically taking the piss out of women, isn't he? He's enjoying this idea that he can say, look, I'm a woman. And there are so many people who will fall around him saying, yes, you are. Well, may I, may I, may I? I'm um, not hearing the may, criticism, may, and it upsets me because I hope may, I still hold out the glimmer. May, may, may I just say something? In well, this, and he just he needs to learn. But may uh, I just say something in his defense, very briefly? I genuinely, I don't know if he's going in to troll women. I think the real reason he goes into women's toilets is because if he went into a man's toilet and there were men in there, he'd feel a bit silly. I think that's why he does it. I think he'd feel stupid because he's dressed as a woman. But he goes into women's toilets and he's surrounded by a group of people who will get thrown out if they say something similar, if they even look at him in a funny way, you know? Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I think but a lot of women are speaking up and he's not hearing them. And that's the part that's like, Jesus Christ, Eddie, a lot of women are speaking up. This issue, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm visiting the UK right now. It's so exciting because this issue is 
everywhere in the UK. I know a oh, lot of good. people who watch this right now are in the UK, but there is nothing like this in Canada. I'm bumping into strangers on the streets and just having random happenstance conversations with people and, and out and about in the city. And this issue comes up and it comes up and it comes up. You know, we're on Twitter all the time. I'm a Twitter addict, you're a Twitter addict, we're all Twitter addicts. Uh, we see that these issues are trending all the time on Twitter. I always thought that was just trending within my corner of Twitter. Like that was a very customized yeah. kind of trending list. It's not so customized. Everybody no. is aware of this issue. People mm -hmm. who don't, uh, who aren't in our circles are saying it's always trending on Twitter. This is, this is everyone. It's mm -hmm. everywhere. It's really, really huge. So for yeah. Eddie Izzard to be just ignoring how big this issue is, to ignore the fact that he's one of the big national discussions right now in the United Kingdom, and women are saying they're angry at what he's doing, that's not acceptable anymore. The guy's got to fucking listen to women. Like, for fuck's sake, you know? I, yeah, I still think that he, he thinks that the publicity he's getting out of it is worth it. Because, honestly, mm -hmm. he's riding that wave, isn't he? Because there are still so many people who will write about him and literally call him she. Well, one, of the, one of the funniest... Happy. They would what? point to Eddie fucking Izzard and say, she... I know, yeah. One of the funniest, one of the funniest things they do is uh, they they always praise him to the hilt whenever he goes out to a show or something. When any woman wearing the same outfit and looking the same size as Eddie would be given the biggest dressing down by these same people, it's it's the most perfect example of male privilege I've ever seen. It oh, and it's the total, uh, it's the unacknowledged Absolutely. acknowledgement that we know that this is a sexual paraphilia because he's dressing like a man's sexual fantasy a lot of the time. Sometimes he's not, but a lot of the time, there's a lot of kink. You know, he wears kinky boots. He wears fishnets. Yeah. I've, I've, wears, I've only you know, now realized that, 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 you know, all those live gigs where we thought, oh, good for him and stuff, you know, that, that you know, he was actually indulging this kink that he had, you know, and you feel a bit like, oh, okay, well, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> before I paid all the money uh, for the DVDs, you know. Um, where else? Where? What else has been happening? There's been some other amazing stuff happening. I mean, it's just been like a a, a kind I of. I mean, that's a, that's the second mermaids thing because, of course, we haven't even done a mess since they announced that mermaids is to be investigated in the first place, which already was monumental news. Well, oh, I we still, all saw this coming, didn't we? They they yeah, come well, at LGBT think, Alliance, and now they've just put the spotlight on themselves. Binders thing is oh, terrible. Yeah. It is, it is genuinely a terrible thing to do. And so for so many reasons, actually believing that sending binders to kids, you know, and mm -hmm. you've got so many mermaid supporters saying, oh, well, I, I'm amazing. Let, you know, let's see how they react when we say, but you wear a sports bra. And you're like, you know, I wear a sports bra for at least an hour every day. Mm -hmm. And at no point has it broken my fucking ribs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I've seen, I mean, I'm, I'm posting, about, I've, got, I've, I've been working on it for ages. We keep getting all these new news stories to keep just kind of it's crowding us for attention. Crazy. But, but listen, I, did I have a question. I, 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 but, a question. But, oh, sorry, Artie, right. just yeah. let me let me finish this point. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I've, I just did a kind of thing of um, uh, breast binders are good, actually, discourse. It's like uh, all the tweets by people. Say, and the amount of different men comparing them to high heels, you know, um, uh, and, and the BBC talking to this girl. The BBC did this on, a, on one of their youth programmes, talking to a girl who had difficulty breathing. They told her she had the wrong kind of binder. Mm. You know, I mean, when the, like, that's what we mean when we say this is, this is, you have no idea how big this scandal is. This scandal is going to touch everyone. You know, you say Savile. Yes, this is the, this is Savile. This is going to touch, and it's going to touch the BBC just as it touched Savile. Except this time, we're going to be able to say, well, the BBC, it was, it, it's almost as if the BBC, like, I know the BBC helped Savile in a kind of uh, localized way. But what the BBC didn't do, it didn't help a whole nation of Savills by giving them these, this line of bullshit, this way of getting into women's spaces. It didn't, it didn't do that, you know? And, and, and what would they, you Savile these days, he wouldn't need to get famous. He wouldn't need to get famous. All he would have to do is identify as a woman. That's all he would have to do. And he would immediately be given sacred class status, you know, which as we see, opens every door, including the doors to every door. nurseries and fucking libraries where children are, you know, it's, it's mind blowing, mind blowing. It's so unstable. It's so unstable. And it shows that people are all, this can't last long because that, that, that level of lack of scrutiny 
over something so easy to just access that anyone could just slap a label on themselves I, is I, a sign I, of just people are yeah. just in a moment of panic trying to figure out how to figure this out, trying to figure out what this is about, I think. So it's just a very temporary moment. But I want it to talk really quickly. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. Let Helen just say her point there. No, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying it, it really, I don't think it's going to last. Like, it can't last now. Like, there's yeah, too many, not. there are too many moments of, you know, like you were saying, everyone's aware of the issue. And the more, you know, things that happen, like mermaids is well known. Everyone pretty much knows now that, you know, it's mermaids that you go to if you've got kids with gender dysphoria. Or if you've got a kid who says, I'm trans, and then you're in a panic, you send them to mermaids. Mermaids is well known. This is a, a very, very poor look for mermaids. Mm -hmm. um, both the binders and then this straight afterwards. You know, like parents are going to be thinking, oh, yeah, shit, that doesn't sound good. Yes. Um, That's all then, it takes is a little bit of doubt. <gasps> yeah. Hey, listen, this is just this just in. Twitter shares halted after report Elon Musk deal to go ahead. So Elon Musk <laughs> might be coming onto Twitter. Ah, it might be owning Twitter, oh, so maybe strange. there's a way back for the Gramester, for the Glinner. Maybe there's a way back to Glinner. <laughs> <for the Glinner. laughs> well, let's hope so. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to be. I'm going to be so rude to so many people. Um, uh, <laughs> I can't wait for that. Elon Musk will probably be retweeting you all the time too. That would be the best part because yeah. he already, you know, he's he's on side. You know, he is. Well, um, I don't know. He's about binders, so. though. <laughs> I don't think they yeah. are still or. I no, no, they, uh, they are. I don't think there's been anything. Oh. I think, I, I think oh, there's been okay. the usual scandals, but, in, but I don't think they've broken up. I could be wrong. Anyway, go ahead, uh, Artie. I was just thinking about the binders thing. I was quite surprised at the way it seemed to have been framed by some media outlets. And maybe this is a positive thing. Like some <laughs> media outlets were just saying that their they're offering binders to children was bad because binders are, they were just treating it as matter of fact that binders are, 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 are medically unsound, they're medically unhealthy. Obviously, now you just made the point, Graham, that um, uh, the BBC is not quite going along with that. But I, I was seeing a lot of stuff that just the fact that they were sending binders to children in itself was bad enough to be a scandal, was at least some of the media was out, was portraying that. What do you guys think about that? Is that true? Is there a sign? Is there a scene? Because sometimes it's just a matter of people saying, treating it like it's a scandal that binders are being sent to children is all it takes for people to wake up and realize that these are just breast ironing garments, you know, for white people, you know? Yeah. Sorry. What so what's think? the question already? Are you seeing that the fact that the, the way the media, some of the media have portrayed mermaids sending binders to children has changed the way the media is framing binding binders? No, I think, I think the binders thing, <laughs> I didn't see it reported much, to be honest. I think that the, I think the usual kind of cone of silence exists over these stories, mm. maybe reporting a little bit more, but I think this, I think this, uh, this, uh, pedophile guy will, will draw attention back to the binders, you know, uh, yeah. I, as I say, everything's tied to everything else in this once, once mermaids is revealed as what it is, you know, it's going to undo the the, the various myths that people have been, um, you know, trying to force their organizations into adopting for the last uh, five years, you know? This is it's, all, like I'm saying, this is all just an unstable period where everybody really agrees. They're just confused and they don't know how to get a grasp on the issue. So they're all mm -hmm. just trying to follow the crowd. And people who shout really loud and bully are the ones that everybody's just kind of by default, heeding to just because they don't want to be yeah. on the wrong side of history. But yeah. that's clearing up really. We're starting to see that that is clearing up really quickly. And people are saying, OK, I get it now. I've got a bit more of a grip on this issue. Mermaids isn't just gay rights 2.0. There are some issues here. And that's all it takes is for people to say, OK, there's some issues here. I have free reign to analyze this with an open mind instead yeah, of sure. just turning my brain off and saying it's just gay people let them do what they want you know um and that's all it takes for people to scrutinize it and to, and, to realize it's terrible you I, know and i do think that something something big like this kind of it might shift the conversation a little because i, I went to say I, I went to a wedding on the weekend and i met a woman she's only 23 and uh she said, "Oh, you, you want Twitter?" And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> "And uh, she said, and I said, but you know, you might not like what I'm, what I talk about." And she said, "What?" And, and I sort of explained quite gently. And she said, "Oh no," she said, "She said no, because I know I do. I want to be. I do want to be nice. I want to be kind." She said, "But it is. I can see some problems here." She said, "I don't want to share changing rooms with." Mm -hmm. 
good people who great, may good for her. still be intact. And she was really quite, you know, she was very kind about it and quite hesitant in the way she was framing it. But she was like, yeah, I, I don't want to do this. Um, yeah. So if people have seen it. Now it's a case of, like, not only have people seen it, people don't agree with it. A lot of people don't agree with it. But they just need that little push to think that they can speak out. The gender identity ideology has been really, really good at the silencing. Mm -hmm. But honestly, the cracks are showing, the stories are coming out. Like, yeah. it's not going to be long. Well, you know, now, now, uh, also now, journalists. I mean, Redux have been doing an amazing job for the last few few months, you know. But but now more journalists are are going to see that. Holy shit! There's there's probably a bunch more stories out there because, like, yeah, I mean, there's uh, a lot of Pulitzer sniffers who are sniffing up some Pulitzers <laughs> right now, and you know, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yes, actually, yeah. that's a really good point. Mm. I mean, I mean, Redux there's, an, there's an opening. <laughs> if Redux had the the resources of the Washington Post and the New York Times, a lot of those journalists at Redux would probably be lining up for some some, oh. some major major journalism awards. They're doing yeah, extraordinary yeah. work on a shoestring budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that um, uh, I th you know I I think that I, if if a, if a, if a paper like I don't know the Washington Post or something like that had any sense, they would they would pay. Uh, Genevieve and it's Amy, isn't it? Sorry, Anna, Anna or Amy. I always get mixed up between Anna and Amy. Anna Slats, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Anna and Genevieve to form a kind of spotlight type team. Yeah, you know, like the team that broke the Boston priest. Uh, yeah, scandal. yeah. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It should be a real thing, you know. And and I and you know we like Carrie Black is another example. Carrie Black, as soon as she heard uh, the story last night, she immediately contacted. Um, uh, the uh, pedophile pedophile guy who likes shoes and children, and um, he he immediately he immediately deleted his account immediately. You know, and Kerry Black has been finding out all these things ever since that are just extraordinary. Um, you know, we've got all these kind of citizen journalists who can help. So, so many. Yeah. If any, but and by the way, if any journalists, uh, Tr Tish, who's in the who's in the comments, t you know, she's just a, a, a bit amazing. Amazing for years and years, for and, years. and years. And Amazing. Jennifer Billick, Jennifer Billick has been looking into the money side of it. Yep. There are so many stories here, so many stories here. We, you know, if any journalist is looking, they really have to think of it. Imagine basically, imagine WikiLeaks happened, but the information is already out there. Like there was no big bang like there was with WikiLeaks. Basically, over the years, a bunch of these academics who thought that no one was paying attention wrote what they really thought. And all that information is out there. So I would look into the rest of Mermaid's trustees. I'd look into everyone involved in Pink News. I'd look into everybody and just see what you can find. Because these idiots, they 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 only kind of realize they're in trouble when they get in trouble. <laughs> like the London School of Economics suddenly is just letting the queer theory people have their little lectures about coming on children or whatever and then acting like it's no big deal and now that it's in the news they're suddenly making a press release being like oh we, we've just become aware we have to do something about this it's like did you see that the, the guy he he's it, he's been it's been announced that he's on uh sabbatical leave until january yeah yeah immediately suddenly yeah. suddenly his, his his bio in on the lse website has changed to say or oh, updated should we say yeah, to reflect yeah. the fact that he's now on leave until 2023. So I think yeah. it's just like a lot of these people are just saying, oh, I think the whole, all, I think what a lot of academics are going to have to do is come to terms with the fact, or administrators of universities, that there's a lot of pedophilia in these queer theory circles, and it's not acceptable. You can't just let them revel in their little porn fantasy circles anymore. They can't have PhDs about masturbating to Japanese children's no. pornography. No, they can't not. get quite. together and have conferences yeah. about, uh, you know, uh, how great it is for men to have sex with children. They can't be allowed to have this stuff anymore. Like I make, said, there are scientists who can research pedophilia as scientists, but these are queer theorists who are actually endorsing the acts of pedophilia, you know, a very yes. different thing. And Those it's got to be shut things down. Are quite different. Yes, you're right. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a really fair point. Well, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, God, there's been other things that have happened, but nothing, nothing as kind of extraordinary as uh, as that. Oh no, what am I talking about? I forgot nearly the other biggest story, which is Caroline Farrell was arrested. <clears throat> oh ah. God, that because was of again. Hayden, because of Hayden again. Yes, 
This is like, oh. when is someone going to deal with this? That with was this? quite an extraordinary story. It was, it was so, it, it, it was so over the top. You know, yeah. they didn't they forced have their way into her house. Evidence. They didn't have any evidence, and they seized all of her yeah. um, devices. Yeah. I mean, it seems that seems really quite wrong. If, well, if that's, that, if, that's, if, that's, if that's exactly what happened, that seems really as someone, very, who, very wrong. As someone who has had dealings with with Stephanie Hayden, will will someone in charge, some legal person or police person, please put a stop to him? He is making monkeys out of the police. He is getting you to fight his online battles. He accused me of being someone on Kiwi Farms. I don't have a Kiwi Farms uh, uh, account. And now, <laughs> on a hunch, fucking Detective Hayden, he said he sent out like cops to to this woman's house. And you know, there's a lot of things I disagree with Caroline Farrow uh, with. I don't I don't support her her stance on abortion and, and gay marriage and many other things. You know, but she has a fucking right to say her mind to speak her mind. How dare the police visit her on behalf of this, you know, two cents con man? He is barged into her house, roughly, almost, almost performatively, roughly barging yeah. in like that, you know, yeah. and taking well, her things without any the, warrant or anything. I, I, if I disagree with someone about anything, I don't want to be using the police as my goddamn bulldogs. That is the opposite of everything I stand for, you know. No, well, I'm, a, I, I'm, I'm, dogs, you know? well I, I, I'm only I'm only considering it for uh, Alan Driscoll, who's this crazy um, Australian guy who just simply will not leave me alone and won't live. And won't, no, he's English and he lives in Australia. Oh, no, using the police as a resort to stop harassment yeah. is not the same thing as using yeah, the yeah, yeah. To stop people saying things you disagree with. You know? But like the thing <laughs> yeah. about the thing about the thing about Hayden, though, is Hayden is great because he like all the, these other idiots is is you you combine this kind of criminal nature but also with a desire to be seen and a desire to be sort of famous and to do, desire to be seen as a as a as a lawyer as well you know so he, he combines all these things and he cannot help himself after she was charged he tweeted a photograph of himself drinking a glass of champagne, champagne. Yeah. yeah and i am going to send that to every fucking solicitor i know who's dealing with hayden at the moment i want them to all to see that because i think that i i could be wrong but i'm hoping that uh, uh, people are beginning to run out of patience with him, you know? I mean, you would think they would after f however fucking many years he's been he running riot, you know? I mean, we live in a world where some people have personality disorders. We live in a world where narcissists do not play by the rules of, of, uh, of, of, of being kind. They do not play by the rules of sort of British decency. They play by their own rules. And everybody's just always giving them the benefit of the doubt. And they're just trampling all over it. We live in a world where there are fetishists who do not play by the rules of, you know, sexual keeping it to oneself. And, you know, and they're just trampling all over everyone, giving them the benefit of the doubt. You have to realize that we live in a world full of people who are criminal, who are disordered, who are narcissistic, who are pedophiles pedophilic who are predatory we live in a world full of bad acting people most of the time it's men and we can't just pretend that these people yeah, don't exist true. you know and yeah. i think this, we've said this before but one of the big problems and how this ideology is advanced so well is because there are it is it attracts narcissism mm. and narcissists as you say don't play by the rules and no, they really and they can't. take advantage of our own discomfort with, yeah. with wanting to give everyone our own discomfort with calling people out. You know, they really play it out. Sorry, yeah, yeah, and, and so and I do think that in in that's partly how the movement has advanced so well because people are so shocked at the <laughs> at at the just what people are prepared to do that they think, oh well, I, I must be wrong. Because yeah, you know, it's so no one would so be that big. improper. Exactly. No one would go to such <laughs> lengths of impropriety. It's like, exactly. yes, they would. <laughs> well, 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 well one, 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 of the, one of the problems I've had, I think, w with getting the word out about all this stuff is it is so crazy. It doesn't sound right. It's like, oh, wait, children are being operated on, and it doesn't really yeah. have any, any basis in in anything, <laughs> you know. It's like, no, no, they, it is, and it doesn't. It doesn't have any basis. There's no studies backing up that it helps. There's nothing, <laughs> right, and it's all nothing. built on shit and mermaids. In the UK, were the group that everybody thought they could just praise and, 
and support and everything would be fine. But no, they've all revealed themselves. As I say, a Chris Morris prank that didn't need Chris Morris to do it. You know, but but the other thing I just want to quickly mention is that Kerry Black also reminds me of another person who is going down the the, uh, the Stonewall uh, Mermaids route of uh, trying to heat. Uh, Dave, uh, oh, the Scottish actor is thinking of taking um, me and Kerry Black to court. And uh, once again, I'm going to give him the opportunity to back out because once we get in there, it's going to be like, this is your life for you, mate. I'm going to bring up all the people whose, whose businesses and lives you've ruined. So if you want to go through what, what LGB Alliance are, are going through right, or sorry, what, what mermaids are going through right now, please bring it on. But otherwise, I would I would quit it right now. I'd just drop hands and walk away. But do whatever it you never you're works. Do. It never works for the other side. They're just like the little kids going up to Arnold Schwarzenegger, being goaded by their nerdy friends. You have no idea. You're not going to win anything. The grown-ups yeah. do not buy your bullshit. If you're going to <laughs> go make everyone go through this exhausting expense and time wasting, it's going to end with you going, "Fuck! I shouldn't have fucking done that." You know, well, <laughs> that's well, how it works is, every time. Look at mermaids. Not going time. well for them. Well, the cold cases every time are good, into, you know, because they can't sort of say no debate. You know, when questions are asked, they 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 have to be answered, and I, I yeah. think. I think that's been very good in all of the court cases that, that, have, that have been had. Yeah. What's that flipping noise? Is this twi weird twi What's that? Well, my phone just rang. I've no, it, it, it's Jacob Broslow. He's just seen some children. Um, no, sorry. That's a terrible joke. Uh, but um, uh, so what are we going to... Yeah, I think we're coming up to 46 minutes and it's a very full show, but I think we've, we've, we've covered nearly everything. I don't think... Is there anything else people would like us to... Discuss, I can't really remember if uh, anything else has happened. Well, I, I, I think I want to go back to Hattrick Productions. I really do think nah, that, you don't have to that, that this is, it, it's, you know, like, honestly, how much more proof do they need that the things that you've been saying have actually been right? How much yeah. more do they need on this, for Christ's sake? And seriously, if they put it on with you there, the publicity they'd get would... would like the positive publicity would outweigh the negative. And honestly, like all, all publicity is good publicity in a way, isn't it? What is wrong with them? Yeah. Seriously, they should put this on. Well, well, you know, I think I, it's kind of crazy that they, they, they've done the same thing as everybody else in this fight. You know, they've taken the, the bad, unethical, immoral position and yes. they're, they're going to go to court to fight it. And they're going to just be revealed as, as idiots, you know? So I don't understand why they're doing it. And they're also wrecking, may I say, Patrick, are wrecking the relationships between the creatives on the show. It's an absolute act of vandalism, what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and when people say, you know, what can people do anything? Please do write to Hattrick, uh, Jimmy Mobile or Hattrick, and tell him what you think, because it's, it's pro okay. I think it's a bit, I, I know I'm not, like I, it's hard for me to say this, but I just think it's one of the most outrageous things that's ever been to, done to a writer. You know, it's disgraceful. So, well, yes. I hope you can yes, just take it, it away from good. that trick. It would be yeah, good. You know. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Uh, yeah, and it would be good. I know it would be good. We've seen it live. We've seen it play out. We saw full dress rehearsals. Not dress rehearsal, but we saw full rehearsals. And all the songs Pepper. work. Everything works. And, and hat trick. And everyone good. loves Father Ted. I know. Everyone but, loves Father Ted, man. But Hattrick loves loves its uh, non-binary uh, staff, I guess. Uh, you know, middle class uh, kids who who walked into the industry and they're now telling everybody what to do. Anyway, grumpy. Uh, let's not end on a grumpy note. It's no, been a no, wonderful no, I, day. I, I think I think they'll have to turn around. I think. May, <clears throat> may I say thank you to again once again to Jolie and Mom, the hero of today. Thank you to uh, <laughs> thank you to um, uh, Nancy Kelly for going doing a TED talk and talking about trans kids at just the right moment. Uh, mm. Thank you to um, uh, uh, Ben Cohen and Pink News for oh, the, yes. for the entertainment. It has been uh, spectacular, and uh, yeah, we will <laughs> see you all soon in a, in possibly in the same house. Even who knows. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh, everyone. Yeah, it's been lovely, guys. Bye. Love you, you all. British people, say hi. <laughs> <laughs>